I don't want to look into why this keeps happening, but I'm really not sure. Um, why is it using all of my, it's using all my goddamn CPU right now. What kind of processes we run in here? Jesus Christ. Fucking McAfee is what's doing it. All right, that lowered it down a little bit. I don't know why my CPU is running so hot right now. No, it's not like temperature hot, but it's just fucking moving. It's going as smooth as I thought it would go. It is. I don't know why the fuck it keeps doing that. That's fucking obnoxious. Good news is it comes right back. Bad news is it keeps happening. So we're going to close Chrome. I'm going to run it off my phone. I feel like Chrome has a lot to do with this right now. Phone link? Like, what the hell is this? All right. So I get VPN. I don't have a VPN on. Why is it, why is it VPNing? I don't have a fucking VPN on. Anyway, back again. Um, what was I just talking about? Lost my train of thought. Um, so that's wild. I don't know. Yeah, I'm hardwired. It's not, no, it's my computer keeps like signing me out. Like it says it's running. It says it's, there's too many processes running. It's not the internet. I wish it was the internet. It's not the internet. It's the fucking computer itself. I'm trying to see what process is taking up all this fucking, all the CPU, but it doesn't really tell me that it's taking. There's stuff taking up that much shit. Let me see what's going on down here. I'm going to say it's the RAM. I mean, CPU is running at like 85%. There's only one program running, really. And I mean, obviously, it's Streamlabs where I'm streaming right now. So I don't know. Something I got to look into. I got to upgrade my computer anyway. I mean, it's a gaming PC, and I don't play any games on it, really. But when it starts to crash like that, it is not fun. Anyway, all right, what was I saying? Um... But yeah, it's a pain in the ass to get um, like quality content. I went over that, went over the Canadian wildfire. Um, what was I saying, Frocon? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's a power issue. I got I to gotta go into my BIOS and start clicking around in there because I think it's on like power save mode or some shit. I got to put it on performance mode because the only thing that's running right now is Streamlabs and Task Manager, but Task Manager doesn't use that much space. It's Streamlabs, but it's only like 50%. But it's running hot at like 95 right now. All right, we're going to shut that. Yeah, I know. I got I to gotta upgrade my shit. Either way. So I can get this off my phone. And then the... Um, so yeah, what I was saying earlier. It's a pain in the ass to put out quality content each time. And no one really wants to hear you talk for an hour. Especially an hour. Uh, but these... No one really wants to be on a podcast until they're on a podcast. It's pretty much what it is. Like, I didn't, I mean, it took me, I wanted to be doing a podcast for like 10 years, bro. I think this is the coolest shit in the world. But like, there's always an excuse not to do something. And I'm like, fuck it. I'll just do it one night. Like, I just like, I just record. I, I mean, I stream like it's kind of the same thing. I'm like, let's just do it. I did it off my laptop. I was in the living room. Just like, this was like a month ago. And I'm like, I just recorded myself. I'm like, this is easy. And I heard myself back and I was on my AirPods, which anyone knows about anything. AirPod sound sucks. Like it's really not that good for talking at all. Definitely recording. It's really bad. So I was like, I have a microphone. It's a fucking $300 microphone. I got the whole setup. Like, let's let this baby ride. You know, like let's, let's rev this engine. And uh, once I started doing it, I'm like, this is actually pretty easy. But then I ran into the problem of like, I got to make, I got to make something that people are going to listen to. And um, yeah, kind of went from there. But there was a couple other topics I wanted to get into today. The Canadian wildfire, obviously, we covered. Manhattan is apparently sinking. I read this today. Um, fucking Manhattan, because there's so many goddamn buildings on it. So I, I'm, the way Manhattan's built, right? You know why? Um, you know how there's some parts in Manhattan where the, the buildings are huge, and then yeah, there's other parts where the buildings are small. It's because of the bedrock under there. So, like, they did, like, surveys and stuff, like, geological surveys and stuff. And, like, they're like, oh, we can grow on that. We can build really heavy on this part and not so heavy on this part. So, that's why some buildings are sm smaller and shorter. Um, but, yeah, now they're the parts that are built on the heavy parts are starting to sink because these fucking high rises are so goddamn big and they're so fucking heavy that it's it sinks, like, two millimeters a year. And they're like, it's going to add up. Like, 20 years from now, it's going to be, like, it's going to be a problem. And they compared it to Miami, which is like instant sync. You just, you fucking build. And five years later, the thing's 
stuck in the, this thing sinking and cracking. And there's that building that fell like not too long ago, like a year ago. The building just collapsed because the foundation was built on like mud. So I saw that today and I'm like, that's got to going to be that's going to be happening. We don't build big ass buildings on Long Island, but Long Island's low key been sinking for a while. If you go to the beach, you can notice it. They've been like pumping sand up and dredging and all that stuff. Eventually, that's going to stop working. Like it's eventually just going to turn around. And I'm not like sitting here t- trying to talk about climate like that, but it's obviously a fucking problem. Like the coast is just going to be sinking. Like everything's just going to be underwater eventually, especially if you're anywhere near the near the beach. And then you go down the rabbit hole. Like obviously, you go down like the climate change rabbit hole and all that shit. But it's clearly. It's, I'm not saying it's climate change or not, but clearly the oceans are getting a little a little more deep. And there's way too many people along the coasts for that beachfront property. That it makes sense that Manhattan's fucking sinking. I mean, Manhattan's below sea level as it is. It's just we don't get hit by hurricanes that much. And when we do, it's a fucking problem. We get hit by like a Category 2 hurricane and it's over. Shout out to Sandy. Eileen, 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 Eileen. Um, And that shit happens and you're like, wow, we're fucked. So that's not that much fun. Uh, Yeah, like two millimeters a year, like... I mean, over over time, like it's just going to keep happening. It's probably going to keep happening worse too. So I imagine like it's two millimeters now, but in a few years it's going to be like three millimeters, and then four, and then oh, we're losing an inch a year, which would be a fucking disaster. Imagine mo- losing an inch a year. Forget about it. Like it's over. So, um, nothing you can really do about it either. What are we going to do? Knock these buildings down? Like. Manhattan's just packing, packing. We just keep packing people into these places. It's never going to, it's not like we can be like, oh, we're going to stop building and we're going to knock buildings down. Like it's just going to be something we're going to have to deal with, which I'm kind of the, they should make a movie about it, but like just kind of see what happens. You know, like let's just see what happens. That's what I mean. They're going to get knocked down either way. Like you said, like, eventually they're going to come down because of it. And like, might as well make as much money as we fucking can on them, I guess. You know, capitalism at its finest. But yeah, you gotta, they're going to make a movie about it. They should make a movie about it. But I kind of want to see it happen in real life. Like, I don't want people to die, obviously. But if they're like, hey, this building's going to fall down soon. Let's just tip it over and just see what happens, you know? So went down that rabbit hole today. And apparently the only place that isn't happening is like San Francisco. That's like Atlantis. I don't know, eventually. Shout out to Atlantis, the lost city. And then, so there's, so you ever hear of Tartaria? The Tartarians, if you're going to want down this rabbit hole, I'll spell it in here for you. Tartaria. Why do I make me log in? That's fucking wild. T-A-R-T-A-R-I-A. Tartaria. You ever read that shit? Look into that. That'll fucking put some hair on your chest. So, like, apparently there was, like, this ancient... And that wasn't even ancient. It wasn't that long ago. It was, like, a civilization that was, like, really advanced. And they made this wild-ass architecture that... Like, it doesn't make sense for where it is. And just look at the build. If you Google it, you'll know right away what I'm talking about. Like, these buildings are crazy. And they're like, there's no way assholes and wagons with horses built this. They definitely found it. Like, it was found that way. Like, if you go, even if you look at, like, Europe and some places in Europe, like, how the, who the hell? And like, oh, it was built in the 1700s. And it's like, how the fuck did they build this in the 1700s? There wasn't that much technology around to build this. And like, they built it in two years. Like, that's crazy. So if you want to talk about lost cities, look up Tartaria and Tartarian architecture. And then you're going to be like, why, did they, why do all these cities look the same and they're so far apart? It's similar to the pyramid thing. Like, why are there pyramids all over the world? But none of these people communicated somehow. Tartaria. Something you want to look into because it's similar to Atlantis. It's like one of these things like we've kind of forgot in our history. But people are saying, obviously, there's always that group of people that are like, no, we know about it. We're just hiding it. And it's like, all right, whatever. But they had like this, I wouldn't even, like, I guess it was technology or what it was, but they had um, something going on that was, they can just build shit quick and the materials they used for it were like, it's just like metal and shit, but like how the hell did they precision, build these things with such precision in these areas where they don't have the raw materials yet? Like it's not like they had trains that often. Like there's, the way America got built up across is because we started getting the, what is it, the not the intercontinental train, like the, the the North American rail line, whatever the hell it was called. Promontory Point, like that shit, where we 
where we met with a, the railroad connected both sides of the country. Then we started dropping. Everything's built around there because we're, we're shipping supplies through. But back then, they didn't have trains across Europe. They're like, these people were using wagons to transport all this material. And then they were smelting it down. And like, there's no evidence that that actually happened. These buildings are just there. And then there's like, we're, like records of it being like discovered. And that's where they're like, there was something else there before Europeans got there or before North America, before Americans got there. There was something else going on. Tartarian architecture, bro. You got to look into it. You can go down a long rabbit hole. There's videos on this shit. And I'm like, and now it's like the popular thing to search. So don't be surprised if you get a shitload of videos that are all the same. But um, yeah, the architecture doesn't make sense for the technology they had. Um, What else do we get? Oh, yeah. So I had this crazy fucking thought switching gears real quick. Um, Again, sauce is being made. Switching gears real quick. Sorry. Walking the dog today. Procon, you have a dog? I don't know if you have a dog or not. But anyway, I go walking with Brady every afternoon after dinner. You know, you got to burn those calories you just ate. You know, you got to get your circadian rhythm in line because the sun's setting. You're supposed to be looking at the sun when it sets, the whole thing. And it's just healthy. So we go for a walk. And for some reason, I see a gate that's open. And I talked about this yesterday, I think, where like I carry a knife on me just in case a dog likes to, wants to attack us or something. That's never happened. But that's not even the unhinged part. I see a gate that's open and I'm like, that gate's never open. Like what's going on over here? And I'm like looking, I'm looking. And for some reason, my brain automatically went to, what if that, what if there was a murder in that house just now? And I'm like staring at this house. Brady's like pissing on the lawn. And I'm like, what if there was a murder in there? And I'm just staring at the house and there's a murder, but I'm just going to walk away because I have no idea what's going on. Cause like there's cars, like this house has like cars in the driveway and on the lawn and shit. Like it's not like run down, but there's a lot going on there. So my, I was like, how the hell did I think about that? Why was that my first thought was like, there's, it's a murder. Like the gate is open and I immediately went to someone just got murdered in that house. And I was like, what if there was, and people are looking at me and they're like, oh, well, that kid walked by with the dog and he must've seen something and like, the cops are going to be looking for me, but they don't know what I, like, obviously I don't know anything, but they're going to come question me for it. And they're going to be like, well, what were you doing over there? And what was going on at the time? And why were you there? And what'd you see? And I'm going to be like, oh, I saw the back gate open. And they're going to be like, well, why didn't you report it? I'm like, I don't know. There's gates open all over the place. You know, like, why should I report it? And they're like, well, you know, we're going to have to bring you in and question you. And then I'm like, I have to call my supervisor because I just got picked up for a murder that I didn't commit. And now I'm in trouble. And now I'm talking to investigators and they want to know why I didn't report the gate open. And then I, I stopped myself from thinking that. And I was like, I'm just walking the dog, man. Someone just left the gate open. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But that whole thought process went through my head in about 30 seconds while my dog is pissing on the lawn and I'm staring at this open gate. And then I thought about it and I was like, sometimes my mind goes like these crazy routes. It happens at work, but not to the point where I'm like freaking out, where I'm like, oh, someone's murdered. But it kind of just like, it caught, I caught myself like, what the hell am I thinking right now? Like there's this whole murder. I'm going to be investigated now because someone got murdered, but there is no murder. No one got murdered. The gate was just left open probably because someone's back there. Cause it's a nice night out. And so they might be mowing the lawn or, you know, could be, they could be literally just left the gate open, but I immediately went to an unhinged thought of it was a murder. I'm going to get investigated. I have to come up with a story, but the truth, obviously it was, was I was just walking my dog and I saw a fence. So there's, it was just, it was just, it was just my brain on overload at that point. Uh, what else do we got? What was I just saying? This is what I'm saying, man. This is why I need my, my notes open, but oh yeah, the unhinged thoughts. You think the speed of thought is faster than the speed of light. Hmm. I think, aren't they connected? The speed of thought isn't like a thought, like an electron going off. So wouldn't that be a light? Wouldn't that be light going off in your brain? Like an electric pulse? I think the speed of thought is faster, right? How the hell would you even measure that? I feel like the speed of thought would be faster. But then the speed of light, you're like, we don't even know how fast the speed. We've never seen the speed of light. I guess we have. You click a light on. But I guess we've never measured thought. Have we measured? Has anyone got this? Have we measured the speed of a thought? Because all I'd have to do is think I'm faster than the speed of light. Speaking of thinking... You know, there's people that don't have an inner dialogue. 
Have you ever heard about this? You know how like when you're, I mean, I know you have it. You have it in your dialogue where like you just, like I just said, like you just come up with these fucking scenarios in your head and you're, you're sitting there talking to yourself, but not out loud. You're just having a conversation with the person inside your brain. You know, there's people that don't have that at all. And it's like 40% of people don't have an inner dialogue. I'm like, so what do they do? Just sit in silence? Like you just sit there in silence and there's nothing going on upstairs. Like there's legit times where I'm like, I'm having a full on conversation with the voice inside my head. I'm like thinking things out, like bouncing ideas off my brain and the voice, the other voice that's in there. And it's my voice or it's at least how I think I sound. But you know, there's people that don't have that. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's like an NPC. Like, what do you mean? You just, what do you, the people that don't have that, do they like, are they aware they don't have it? And I guess they would have to if they're reporting that 40% of people don't have this, this thought in their head. But like, what do you do when you get like, when I'm getting ready in the morning, like I'm, my whole day is being planned as I'm getting ready, like to the minute at some points, like, or I'm like, all right, it's 725. I have to leave in seven minutes. All right. I got to get X, Y, and Z done. Here's how I'm going to do that in this order. And then I start doing each thing and like, oh, well, this thing took me longer than two minutes. So now I have to rush to do the next thing. And then I have to get in the car and then I'm driving to work and I'm like, all right, what do I got to do at work today? What am I listening to on the way to work? Like, I'm always thinking ahead and there's something going on in my head that's fucking wild because I'm thinking about murders that are happening around the neighborhood. And then I'm like, am I the, are we the fucking crazy people? <laughs> like, are we the nutcases around here that are fucking talking to each other, talking to ourselves in our head? And then I'm like, wait a minute, no one. So there's just zombies. These people are, must be zombies. I can't even imagine that. How would you even know? That's what I mean. Like, you're just, you're like a zombie. Like, there's nothing going on upstairs. You're just talking. You're not even talking. You're just like doing things. Like, you just do things. I feel like that's how sometimes, no, I wouldn't even say women think like that. You got to be like a, like a farmer, I feel like, does that. Like, someone that doesn't need to think about anything. I feel like this is probably what, what went on, like, during like the great depression i think or some shit like like you don't even think you just get up and you're like the sun's up i need to start working outside let's get the till and like everything just goes that's why like some people's houses are like i want to say that it probably has to do with like organization though like if you're a super organized person you don't have to think about where anything is you just go and do it and get it and it goes right back to where it was but then you're also thinking how do you not think about what you're looking for or like what you're about to do you just do something. You got to be in a routine. That's the thing. You got to have like a solid routine that never breaks. And if it breaks, it probably freaks you out. They're probably like autistic or something. There's probably something going on there. But like 40% of people don't have it. There's times when I have like three voices in my head telling me different things. Yeah, but I heard that. And I was like, wait a minute. There's people like it just it blew my mind. That's like the people that sit. There's a difference between people that sit and stand when they when they wipe their ass. Have you heard about this one? <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> it always comes back to this because I'm always blown away by it. You know, there's like, I don't know. Do you sit or do you stand when you wipe your ass? Because I fucking stand. Like, I don't know. I stand. But there's like 50% of the people sit and they wipe their ass. And they think it's weird that people stand. I'm like, it, it's weird that people sit. Like, it's weird that that's a, that's a thing. Like, what do you mean you sit? Like, I don't get it. And if you're going to tell me you sit down, dude, it's going to blow. If you could sit, you mean clean. That's what I'm saying. Like, what do you do? What, if you're sitting, you're just wiping the shit in between your legs. That's why I think people smell. Because I always wondered why like, some people just smell like shit. And it's like, what are they doing in the bathroom? That's wrong. And it's probably because they wipe, they wipe while they're sitting like forward. So it's the shit just getting all over the place down there. Like if you're wiping standing, yeah, there's, that's what I mean. There's no inner dialogue going. They smell. They're not thinking about a better way to do it because I think the best way is to stand. The best way is obviously a bidet, but if you don't have one of those, the second best way is to stand. I guess the second best way would be to shower. Third best way is to stand. But like people that sit down, I'm like, because I know people that do it. Like I've asked this question to like multiple people, like t at least 25 to 40 people I've asked this question. And it's legit. Like there's a good portion of them that sit. And I'm like, that's crazy to me because what do you mean you sit? Like, I'm, I don't, I can't, I can't even do that if I wanted to. I can't, like, if I went to the bathroom right now and took a shit, I couldn't even understand the mechanics of wiping that way. It wouldn't work for me. Like, I would just be like, what do you mean? There's going to be shit all over my wrist. There's going to be shit on my balls. Like, there's going to be shit on places that have just shouldn't have shit on them. 
unless you shit your pants or something. Like that's probably why these people that smell because there's people that smell and I'm still baffled by this. If you're over the age of like eight, you probably shouldn't smell like shit unless you shit your pants. But like, I'm not talking body odor smell. I'm talking like they smell like shit. It's probably because they wipe forward and the shit gets all over there, all over them down there. I can't imagine it. Just, <laughs> I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, I, I kind of want to go take a shit and try to figure this out. But then I'd be like, I'm going to be covered in shit. I have to take a shower after that. So they probably smell it. Probably fat people. I would seem like fat people can't do it. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Like, it, I, I can't, I can't, uh, I mean, I only shit like once or twice a week now, but that's a whole other, this whole other discussion we can get into. Um, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to waste it shitting and then wiping forward. Like, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just going to stick with what's worked for 35 years and continue to, uh, <laughs> continue to do it the, the way that's supposed to be done. I saw a dude, uh, so my, me and my brother were talking about the same conversation we're having now. And he was saying the same shit and he like, you know, starts Googling it and everything. And apparently there's people that they take the toilet paper, right? And they, they make a ball in their hand and then they put it under them and they shit into the toilet paper and then they flush the toilet paper. So like the shit never hits the water. Like they don't, the water isn't being touched directly by the shit. It's being into the paper towel or the, the, the toilet paper. And then they dump the whole thing into the toilet. And I'm like, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. But then I, re- I went on Reddit because Reddit has all the answers. And that's one of the only websites we get at work. Dude, you can go down the shit rabbit hole. If you want to talk about another rabbit hole after you're done with Tartaria and everything else, the shit rabbit hole is probably the next one. There's, there's, there's people on Reddit and the, it's, it's wives. It's stay at home. It's not even stay at home moms. It's just wives. And they're like, oh, I wipe, I wipe my, my husband's ass. And people are like, what the fuck? And they're like, yeah, he's, he never got, his mom wiped his ass his whole life. He never learned how to clean himself up. So like he comes out of the bathroom and he smells like shit because he's never learned how to wipe his ass. And like, they think it's it's like, that's the thing. You don't talk about this stuff. No one talks about it. Here's what we should do. Make, talk about, make talking about shit. What's that? What's the stupid phrase? Make talking about shit normal. Normalize talking about shit. That's what I was going for. No, dude, I went out. I'm, I'm telling you, dude, this was a whole, this is a whole Reddit, subreddit dedicated to this. And they were like, no, like men. And the one lady was saying that like men are raised. Like if you work in like the field, if you're like a field person, like a farmer or some shit, like you don't have time to take the tractor back to the back to take a shit. You just shit your pants. Like you just, that's, that's, that's how you just shit your pants because you can't, you, if you're all the way miles into a field, you don't have time to take the tractor and drive back. Like it's a waste of time. It wastes like an hour. <laughs> you, you shit your pants. This is what she was saying. She's like, yeah, my husband comes in. He smells like shit. So I have to clean his ass up. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like time out. And I get it. Like there's no porta potties out there, you know, but like, so this guy's just like, what do you mean? Like it, this is one of those things that like, it, it's mind blowing to me. Like, what do you mean? You can't just like take a shit, like squat. I can see not wiping your ass. That's different. That's one thing, but to just shit your pants and be like, oh yeah, I shit my pants. And you know, and the, and the wife is like, it's my job to clean it up. And then there were people were posting pictures of their husband's underwear and like, oh yeah, it's just covered in shit all day. And I'm like, that's that first of all, it's disgusting. I, didn't, I shouldn't have went, I shouldn't have looked at it, but yeah, I mean, shit's a weird thing because everyone, no one talks about it and you think whatever you do is the normal way, but there's people out there that there's always something that someone does that's normal to them, but it's freaky to everybody else. Like to everyone else, it's the craziest shit, but to them, it's like the normal way to do something. And it's always interesting when you run into those people, you're like, wait a minute, you're doing what? How? And they're like, yeah, what do you mean? You don't do it this way? And you're like, no, never even heard of it doing that way. Some things are more efficient. I can't think of one off the top of my head because I think I'm the most efficient person there is. But like, there's people out there that just don't like, they do things way different than everyone else. And that's how they were raised. And they just go with it but yeah the shitting wiping forward the fucking husbands that can't clean themselves so that's like the wife's job because they were raised to not shit and they just work in the field all day and they work the they work in like a cornfield i guess i don't know that's they gotta they get at it they have their their wife god bless them i can imagine having a spouse how do you date <laughs> how do you go on a date 
you just don't shit for like three days and you hope you don't need to shit before you go out. Before I go on a date, I'm nervous. I'm taking a shit. I'm taking a shit before I shower, before I go on the date. I'm going to make sure I take a shit before I, before I get dressed so I don't have to shit while I'm on the date. These dudes just hope they don't shit for like three days because then they're like, oh, I'm going to be smelling like shit because I don't know how to clean myself. How do you live with yourself? I don't know, dude, it's, <laughs> this is crazy. But anyway, we can move off the shit topic for now. That's, uh, I mean, that's, yeah, that's something else. But um, I think that was it. I mean, we, it kind of went off the rails there for a little bit, but it was a healthy conversation. Glad we had it. I wish the it didn't have to skip out each time, but I do appreciate Procon coming back. And I had a couple other viewers right in here for a while, but it's the first time we're trying it. Got to do it. Got to do it on the first date. Power move. Let them know the shit they get it, they're getting into. See, I've, I've, I've also like kind of thought about that. Like, because when you first, especially when you're younger, you start dating somebody, you're, you're kind of hide. You're hiding a lot of things from them. And then you move in, or not even move in. You just get comfortable after like a year of just having sex all the time. You start getting more comfortable and shit. And then you eventually have to shit in the same bathroom that person's going to use. And they're like, holy shit. It's usually worse for females. Because some females are dropping fucking bombs in there, dude. Some of these females, they're going to fucking, they're going to mimosas Sunday morning. They're having nachos and shit. They're having deviled eggs. They're having fucking breakfast tacos. And they're coming home at 4 p.m. fucking sloshed. And they blow that bathroom up, kid. They are fucking destroying that bathroom. And if they're coming home to you and this is the first time they got to do it, man. It's going to be a... And like, I don't care. Like, it's just a funny thing that you kind of hide that from your partner for so long, but everyone does it. If they accept that, they'll accept anything. I recommend all people to shit in their pants on the first date. I mean, you got it. I mean, you got it down. You got to let it rip the first time out and go from there. But yeah, like, I'm going to blow the bathroom up. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I eat. You know what I mean? I eat like a human being. I'm going to have to take a shit. Like it's it happens sometimes some some shit's worse than other. Sometimes I have to go take a shit and you know I had a lot of protein that day, or I had fucking tacos or something wild. It's gonna stink. That fan ain't gonna catch up to it. That fan's not gonna help. You can open up every window in there. It's not gonna help sometimes, but you gotta get it out of your system. But yeah, that's a good idea. Just shit on the first date and set the tone. Like this is what you're getting into, sweetheart. Like I'm not trying to hide this thing. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we got, I'm glad we figured that out. But I agree. You got to you gotta shit. You got to set the tone early, especially now. Like back in the day when you're young, you're trying to show off. But what are you showing off to? They're going to see it eventually. Again, but what if you're one of those weirdos? This is what it goes back to. What if you're one of those weirdos that shits into a napkin and then flushes the napkin or something? Or like you fucking like shit on your hand or something. Like what if you're one of the weird shitters? I got to sneeze. Hold on. So yeah, I, was a, I don't know. I thought I had to sneeze, but I didn't. Um. So yeah, like what if it's, what if you're one of those weird shitters and she's, she's like, what are you doing in here? And you're like, I'm taking a shit. And like there's shit all over your wrist or something because you're wiping forward. He's like, what the hell are you doing? And you're like, what do you mean? What am I doing? What are you doing? You know, you never fucking know, man. I'm telling you, people do weird things when they think no one's looking. I'm probably, the, I'm, I do a lot of weird stuff when I was driving. So we had to drive. The office had to go to clean the flight line today, which is something I, we don't do. I work in an office. We're office people. We're cybersecurity. We're sitting at desk all day. Kind of how what I'm doing right now. We don't do office. We don't do outdoor tech activities. But we had to clean the flight line. as The whole base had to do it. Because there was an air show. And I'm driving. We're all following each other. right? I'm in the, I'm the middle car. I'm driving by myself because I'm going to the gym after. After we're done with this thing. There's a car in front of me who's my supervisor. And a few other people. And there's a car behind me. I'm driving, I'm picking my nose while I'm driving. I'm just flicking it out the window. So like all you can really see is my hand kind of flicking out the window, but like nothing crazy. And I'm also not picking my nose. Like not a lot's coming out. Again, there's there's fucking smoke in the air. So my nose is kind of jammed up. And I'm like, I would get out of the car and everyone's laughing. And I'm like, my first thought was they saw me picking my nose, didn't they? Like I immediately thought it, but it was turned out they just like told the joke in the car. And I'm like, man, they almost saw past the veil. Like they almost looked past the veil, like inadvertently. Like I didn't show them that I'm picking my nose, but like they almost, I think they might've saw it. So I got like paranoid, like, damn it. They saw me, they saw me, uh, picking my nose out there, but they didn't. But like, that's the thing. You have like this veil of like, I do weird shit when no one's paying attention. And then when someone sees it, you're like, oh shit. And they're like, oh, I do the same thing. Or like, no, you're fucking crazy. You're a psychopath. You know, it could, it could go either way <laughs> on certain things. 
So, um, another weird thing, and this is this is going to sound creepy, but we were talking at work because I'm trying to be. I do cybersecurity now for the Air Force, but my end goal is to be a penetration tester. You know what I'm saying, baby? Stop the cap. And uh, so, like, I want to be able to like hack into computers and stuff and do all that. That's like my end goal for by the time I get out of the military. And we're talking about it, and they're like, so. I'm telling people about like tools you can use to gather information and like how it's not that hard to do. Like you just got to put a little work in and pretty much everyone puts their information out online anyway. Like people are putting this stuff willingly putting their information out there. So I'm like, it's not that hard to find out anything about anybody. I was like, I'm pretty sure I can find out. Uh, I said uh, what I said was I'm really good at finding out things about people that they don't think I'll know. And not telling them about it. And they're like, what does that mean? I was like, I'm telling you right now. Like, when I started working with all you people, because I just moved here. I'm like, I immediately started going through all your socials and stuff. And I can tell what you're doing. I was like, and I can find all this stuff with never even friend requesting you. And they're like, that's fucking weird. And I'm like, is it though? Like, I feel like if this information's out there. And like, yeah, you should probably ask. But I'm like, a weird thing. I was like, I got to know what I'm... It's kind of just doing recon, you know, like I got to know what I'm talking, who I'm talking. I could tell your personality by what you post. People that always post like smiles and they're always happy and shit like that's just a mask. You got to find out what people are actually doing. You got to dig in a little bit. And I'm like, I'm pretty good at doing that. And they're like, that's a weird thing to be good at. I'm like, is it? Like, I don't think it's I don't think it's that weird. But then I thought about it. and I was like, to them, it's fucking creepy. I was like, but you're the ones putting the information out there. And they're like, yeah, wait, I didn't anticipate someone looking for it. I was like, well, there, you know, there's weirdos out there. And then I realized I'm like, I'm probably the fucking weirdo. So it's another weird thing about me. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because it's been about 40 minutes plus the other two clips that automatically saved. Thank God. So we can add that together. Uh, Brocon, I'm going to continue to stream. I keep it all private, but yeah, you really need to be careful what you post online. I only post my cat once or twice a year if that. Yeah, dude, I used to post a lot. And like, yeah, I'm obviously I have a podcast and shit now. But like my personal stuff, like if we're not friends on something, like you won't be able to find me. Like you can maybe find my name if you know my name. And but it's not going to come up with like a picture or anything wild. Um, I had a credit card that got stolen like two years ago and I had to report it. And the credit agency sent me their report like they overturned it. And they're like, oh, here's the report we have. Bro, just searching your name, they can find out your they, they found out all of my family. They found out like everyone I was related to. Everyone I have like associates with because they were, they thought I was like trying to scam them. And I was like, I obviously wasn't. So they were trying to find a connection between me and the person that stole it. Just think like, oh, we stole it. And I'm just going to, I'm going to report it stolen. So I get reimbursed. And then we both make away with money or whatever items. And I was like, that's great. I mean, that's their job. But I'm like, it's kind of wild how all that stuff's out there. And then I thought about it. I was like, my stuff isn't really protected as much as I think it is. Like, yeah, Facebook's. I have a password on there. I'm like, but like my stuff's pretty readily available to find. So I had to go through and fucking take that shit out. TikTok still recommends people that are in my contacts that I haven't. Dude, that's that's the craziest part. I have people in there that I, they're not even in my phone. Like it's people that have like, I legit haven't talked to. And like you said, 10 years, like, and it's just connecting. It's just, it's just, and that's worse. Like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like that algorithm's not that bad. TikTok is wild. It's like anyone you've ever encountered, ever. If you looked at them in the mall when you were fucking 14 years old, it'll be like, oh, recommended friend. And you're like, how the hell? So yeah, TikTok's probably the craziest fucking one. I've also read that TikTok's algorithm is like light years ahead of the other social media um, brands. Like they all want that tic- they all want that algorithm. Yeah, it's all based. So like iPhones all ping each other. It's the same way you can find an AirPod. If you find an Air, um, not an AirPod, a uh, AirTag, it's the same shit, but you don't need an AirTag. You just need an iPhone. So everyone with an iPhone triggers all the other iPhones. So you're just constantly triggering each other and it pings your location and pings what if you share locations with people and it's doing all that. So then TikTok... I don't know if you have it on your phone and someone has it on their phone, it'll ping it and you're connected. So like, I know iPhones do it without having to turn it on or off. It's like automatic. Like you're near an iPhone type of thing. 
because that's it's just freaky how it's all and that's the kind of thing i want to get into i want to get in that's like the field i want to get into is i mean i'm in it now with cybersecurity, but i want to dig deeper into this stuff and be on the cutting edge all seven million people are basically connected one big web yeah that's how bad ideas get uh it's like um chat gpt dude was it went from it was the fastest growing it was the fastest app to get to 100 million users and then it was the fastest to get to if ever since then it's been the fastest growing thing ever since so it went from 100 million to 175 million within like a week it took like less than a month to get to 100 million and then after daily users this is daily daily users 100 million and then it went to 175 within like a week and they're like that's the craziest thing that's ever happened like that's never that's never ever happened went like in a month went from zero to 100 million and then a week after that it went from 100 million to 75 million then so but apparently everyone says the the elon musk and some of these smarter dudes are saying that we're not replacing like the millennials gen z and all this stuff aren't replacing the population in time like when none of us are having kids at the rate our parents were so like 50 years from now we're going to be running out of people i can't see it happening because there's people literally everywhere but a little population collapse in in the works probably at the same time the buildings are going to collapse in manhattan and miami's going to be underwater and everyone's going to be wiping their ass in a weird way so kind of a crazy time i feel like we're on the we're on like the precipice of this ai coming in and wiping us all out anyway so it's like the time right before the moon landing like before the moon landed we had no idea what the fuck was going to happen and then there was the period before the moon landing and the period after and then there's the period before the internet and the period after this is that time this is the period before artificial intelligence and we're going we're almost there to the period after and i don't think the period after is going to be i want it to be good and i'm, I'm optimistic it's going to be good but I feel like we've met our match. Our luck is going to run out in cert- in this area, and it's going to be just chaotic for a little bit before it gets better. And like once it kind of shakes the tree, it's going to be kind of it's going to be mayhem. Whoever has it first is going to be in control. The same way whoever had the nukes first was in control. Whoever controls the money is in control. Like it's going to be one of those things. Like whoever has control of this thing is going to be is going to be running the world. So. Looking forward to that. Well, that's on a sour note, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this up before my computer decides to crash again. I got to figure that out. I'm going to continue to stream. I'm just going to stop recording. It's still going to record on Twitch, and I'll still be here. I don't want to run too long. But this is for the podcast and for the video before I hit stop recording. We're now live on Apple Podcast, Spotify, Substack, pocket casts pretty much wherever you get your podcasts we're on so go to those it's called what the hell's the name of the podcast (laughs) um hold up what hold up what one of those hold up what question mark is the name of the podcast type it in subscribe review it listen to it whatever you got to do feedback obviously you can jump in when we go live on the twitch stream all the links are on my sub stack they're also on my youtube I think they're on Apple. I think they're on Spotify. If not, I'm going to add them now. I'm going to double check, but pretty much find me anywhere. Um, And yeah, I'm going to stop recording now. I'm going to continue to stream, and then we're going to continue the sauce, and I'm going to upload this shit as it happens. I could probably share my screen while that's going on, because there's really nothing going on on my screen that can do it. So we're going to hit stop now.